From one of the most successful ICOs of 2017 to an eye-watering price correction in 2018, Icon has had its fair share of ups and downs. Touted as South Korea's answer to Ethereum, does it live up to the hype or is it just another flash in the pan? This is David from Mineable.com and this is what separates Icon from the rest of the platforms. When it comes to long-term value, adoption is the name of the game. With that being said, Icon has completely dominated its partnerships within the Korean economy. Icon has massive partnerships and they already have test pilots in places all across of South Korea. For example, there is already a pilot program at two South Korean universities where ICX tokens can be used to purchase items at vending machines. Initially, when Icon first rolled out, they already had partnerships and projects in the works with 27 security firms, 15 insurance brokerages, 3 major hospitals, 3 major universities, 4 banks, including 2 of the top banks in Korea, as well as many others. But for every person that is not native to Korea, you all have no clue how large these companies are and how prominent and important they are within Korea. Being a country that is at the forefront of new technology, South Korea currently has the greatest level of cryptocurrency adoption globally. Icon, being the most advanced blockchain platform created in South Korea, has tremendous potential in achieving wide adoption in the country and beyond. Dan Moorhead, an early cryptocurrency adopter and the CEO of the hedge fund Pantera Capital, in an interview on Bloomberg said that the fund's biggest present position is in the Korean blockchain Icon. The statement surprised the host of the interview who didn't seem to know anything about Icon or why the fund would be heavily invested in it. What's your single biggest position? So uh, our single biz biggest position is a uh, protocol called Icon. Don't know it's much Korean, about that. Yeah, it's a Korean uh, uh, blockchain. So that's bigger than Bitcoin, that's bigger than Ether, that's bigger than EOS, that's bigger than yeah. Ripple, that's so bigger than everything else in there. Bitcoin has only been, recently it's only been 10% of our portfolio. It's one of 60 different liquid things you could trade. How interesting. You have a billion dollars, roughly speaking, right now. You plan to raise more money. This is big. Icon was recently listed on two of the largest Korean exchanges and has been well received in Korea, where it is often called the Korean Ethereum. Right now, the Korean won makes up the vast majority of Icon trade volume and is concentrated on the Upbid and Bithum exchanges. Icon's listing in local exchanges is significant in itself as the coin is South Korea's first platform coin. There are plenty of future exchange listings to look forward to as well, such as CoinOne, one of the leading cryptocurrency exchanges in the world with over 800 million in daily trading volume and the first exchange to introduce Ethereum to South Korea. Bittrex is pretty much inevitable as well since Upbit and Bittrex are in a close-knit partnership. While masternodes do not actually exist within the Icon ecosystem, similar to platforms like NEO, Icon has its own governing system that uses community nodes or C nodes to represent gateways in which other blockchains can connect to the Icon network. Icon uses a delegated proof of stake system where each community member on the blockchain elects a community representative or C rep to handle matters within the Icon network like transaction verification. C reps receive ICX tokens for providing the service. So, yes, in short, you will be able to earn dividends by holding ICX coins in your wallet. A move towards peace is good news for every business operating in Korea, including ICON. South Korea getting into a war was actually a big concern for investors. All of their partnerships wouldn't have mattered if South Korea got bombed. Also, the North Korean business community will naturally gravitate towards their South Korean neighbors. They'll open up their markets to them first due to cultural and historical ties. This obviously means growth opportunities for ICON in the long term. Ethereum had its turn, NEO had its turn, finally, ICX ICO platform is on the way. What will this mean for the price? 
Well, it means that the price is going to go up because investors have to purchase ICX in order to participate in ICOs. There have already been 6 ICOs announced with many more to come. Icon Nest is a service designed to simplify creating your own decentralized application projects. Development of the Icon Nest service is complete. Blue Whale, the first dApp built on Icon, is currently utilizing Icon Nest for their token sale. While the dApp team's partner with Icon will be the first to use the Icon Nest service, it will eventually be open to the public. Icon is a blockchain ecosystem that was purpose built with the goal of creating hyper connectivity between other blockchains and financial networks. The ICX token on the Icon network has three functions apart from being a store of value. They can be used to exchange money or assets of value across multiple blockchains, used digitally to verify identifications through Icon blockchain ID, and as a vehicle for processing smart contracts. The Icon network was designed to facilitate communications payments and contracts between different corporate institutions using separate blockchain based networks. For example, a hospital, school and insurance company all using different blockchains can use the ICON network as a bridge in order to reduce processing times and fees. The ICON team is currently preparing the ERC20 token to ICX mainnet coin swap. This means that ICON will transition from ERC20 tokens to its own mainnet blockchain on the ICON network. The swapped ERC tokens will be burned and no, the supply will not double and there will only be 400 million mainnet tokens in circulation after the swap is complete. Now, this just might be some wild speculation at this point, but I do believe it does have its merits. As everyone knows, Icon already has a partnership with Samsung Securities and Hyundai Motor Investment and Securities. The thing is, Icon also has a partnership with Samsung Card and Hyundai Card and also Hyundai Capital as well as you can see at the DaVinci website at the Partners tab. These were one of the reasons Icon has taken my attention at first. Since Samsung doesn't have a public blockchain, I'd expect the Icon team to be deeply involved in any iteration Samsung tries to bring forward to the Korean market. All in all, I see a lot of people talk about picking a good long-term coin and I see a lot of people talk about picking Ethereum, Bitcoin and that 99% of all coins will be useless but I think ICX will catch a lot of people by surprise. Icon literally has it all, great tech, the most impressive lineup of corporate collaborated projects, a backing of a multi-billion dollar business led by a leader with a humble mindset who is willing to adapt to future needs. Icon is also working with the government and is helping to advance blockchain laws, tech and a legal framework within Korea by becoming core members of various agencies that will work hand in hand with government officials. What more can you ask for? So this was just a few of the many reasons why I believe Icon is such a great project and why I believe it has such a bright future. If you think I missed anything, please let me know. And what are your thoughts on Icon? Do you think it has a great future? Do you think it's going to be a flop? I'd uh, really like to hear your guys' opinion. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is David from Mineable.com and I'll talk to you all later.